Hey, what's going on, guys? The Undefined Variable here, and uh, today I'm here with either episode 8 or I might call it 7.5. Um, basically, two days ago I released episode 7, and I said you guys can comment down below with what you want to see. Uh, so this episode is going to be going through, excuse me, going through uh, a couple of those comments that were left uh, that people want to see. Uh, so let's see. Uh, the first comment. I see here is do an API. So API is you can make it so that um, your plugin, if people put it in their build class, they can use methods from it. Uh, for example, right now I'm going to be using the Vault API. So for IntelliJ, uh, you right click, you go to Open Module Settings, Libraries. It's the same thing as importing your spigot jar. So you press the plus, Java. And then you find. Okay, so now I have my vault in my build path. So, um, vault is a little different with its methods. Uh, for vault, you actually need to put some things in here. So we're going to do economy, econ, semicolon. Uh, next, we're going to make a method. Um, I'm actually going to copy and paste this method because you can find it on the vault. Java docs and there's an, you're, no need for you to rewrite it because you're only using it in this instance. So let me pull it up. Uh, I think I have it in my... Okay, so I have it here. Uh, oh, I need to change this to econ. Alright, so this is what it'll look like. You put this at the bottom of your class. Pretty much this just goes through to make sure a server has a vault. And if it does have vault, it sets this as the economy. So we, we do um, if set up economy uh, so that checks if the server has a vault in it for example open the brackets and then you set up your on enable logic so registering your events and all stuff like that uh, at the bottom here uh, I'm gonna make a method I'm gonna make it public static economy get econ and it's gonna return uh, econ I need to change this to uh, no. I'm just going to have this as public. Okay. So, um, another comment I saw was getting using an, multiple instances of your main class. So, let's say I have a method here, uh, get econ, for example. That's actually perfect. Uh, so, up here, I'm going to do tutorial, because that is the name of my main class, and I'm just going to call it core. Next, I'm going to do in my uh, on enable logic, I'm going to do core equals this. So it's casting core to be the this file, the plugin, once the plugin's set up. Next, uh, uh, oh, you want to make this a static tutorial core. So you want to do public static tutorial. So the public static name of your main class, I'm going to call it instance. And I'm going to make it return econ. Oh, no, not econ, whoops. I'm going to make it return core. So now we can use the methods in other classes. So if I were to make a new class, oh no, not like that. If I were to make a new class, let's say, uh, I'm just going to call it example. Uh, I'm going to make this implement listener. Uh, org dot, yeah, org bucket dot event dot listener. So, um, Let's say we do at event handler. Uh, I'm going to make just a simple method public void on move. Actually, no, I'm just going to do on chat player chat event. No, async player chat event. E. Alright, uh, so this is just going to be a method to give a person money when they talk in chat, just as an example. Uh, I was originally going to do a move event, but that might get laggy. So, next we can do tutorial, uh, or the name of your main class, dot, get instance, dot, and then you could use any method. You can use get server, get command, uh, we can use our get econ, we can access the on enable, on disable, the default config, uh, we can do all that stuff. So, if we do uh, that get econ, dot, deposit player, p, and then we'll do a hundred dollars. So this is a method from Vault API. Uh, you could just import a plugin to the path, 
mess around with it, try to figure out its methods, but more to, more often than not, if you Google you know your plugin name API and you find the API, it'll also come with some documentation to help you uh, you know figure out what's what and what does what, how to do certain things. Uh, so we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna do e. I'm just gonna cancel the event, and then I'm gonna send them a message. Uh, chat color dot green plus all right, and then it's gonna say you have been awarded a hundred dollars. Okay, so. Uh, next, uh, we actually don't need this to implement listener. Uh, so we're gonna do. Uh, so this is another way. I'm gonna show you another way to register an event without having to do the whole thing. So over here, we're going to do. Um, I'll just do the name of your main class, and then you know an alias to go by it. Uh, actually, you don't need to do that. Just do public example. So the public, the name of the class that you want to register. Then you want to do tutorial, or the name of your main class, dot instance, dot. And then you can do get server, dot get plugin manager, dot register events, this, comma, tutorial, or the name of your main class, dot instance. Okay, next, inside of here, in your on enable methods, you can just do new example and in the brackets this. Oh, why is that? Oh, my bad. You, you just need to do new example. So, you just do new example and now it's automatically going to register the event. So, now I'm just going to take this plugin in game and we're going to test out what we have so far. Okay, and I just want to make sure. Um, when you're using an API, more times than not, you actually need to put the API in your plugins folder. So in this example, I'm using Vault. So I need to put Vault in my plugins folder, obviously, for it to work. And you also need to put any dependencies that that plugin has. So if we go into the game and we type something, as you can see, we've been awarded $100. So let's reset our money. So right now, if I do slash bal, it's zero. If I do T. Bell, I have a hundred dollars. So that's how you use the APIs and how you uh, access your main class and eh, main class and methods from your main class in other classes. So uh, I think I am gonna actually call this episode 7.5 because it's kind of small and it's just going over some questions. Uh, you can leave what you want me to answer. I, I might just do more of these. I might you know just make you know episode eight and then 8.5. So leave uh, you can leave some comments down below of what you want to see for either the next, I'll call them half episodes, or what you want to see become a full-fledged episode. Uh, see you guys in the next video.